They're not just crawling around backwoods anymore. Black-legged ticks are now in tall grasses and wooded areas in big cities. I do know a few people who have um, been affected by Lyme disease, but I don't really take any precautions for myself. It's time to start. Rising temperatures are allowing the bloodsuckers to survive through winter and spread Lyme disease in places they couldn't before. The number of confirmed infections has more than doubled from about 1,000 in 2016 to more than 2,000 a year later. Most of those cases were in Nova Scotia, Quebec, parts of Ontario and Manitoba. Now Lyme disease has also moved into southern Ontario, PEI and BC. This is something we want every doctor to understand, that the uh, risk for Lyme disease is increasing in Canada. Symptoms can include fever, fatigue, and a skin rash that looks like a bullseye. And if you spot a tiny tick latched onto the skin, carefully remove it immediately and go see a doctor. There's a preventive antibiotic that can be given right away. And that's important. That's an early intervention. It stops the spread of bacteria in the body. Left untreated, Lyme disease can cause muscle pain spread to joints and the heart. It's like a spider trying to stick in a garden hose, right? right. Like there's a lot of force going through there. That green line is the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. It's clinging to the blood vessel of a mouse. And it's mm -hmm. moving so fast that you can't even see it. Like it's just wow. a, a streak of light at most. Tara Moriarty is part of a larger Canadian Lyme research team. She's looking for ways to disable the bacteria. Being able to understand this will help us to uh, develop, develop treatments. A human vaccine for Lyme disease is being tested, but won't be available for at least three years. You'd be sliding this right along your skin, right at the site where the tick is biting. At this outdoor store, the best advice is prevention. Insect repellent with DEET can keep ticks away. Light-coloured clothing can make the insect that's about the size of a poppy to watermelon seed easier to see. And... Sometimes it's helpful to tuck your pants into the into your socks as well. Not super fashion forward, but uh, it's, it is effective. And when you get home from places like this, don't just check the dog for ticks. Check yourself. A new threat requires a new routine. Hello. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.